In the previous video, we have started about the problem of Indian agriculture, right? In this video, we will be studying about how we are tackling the problem. What are the reforms that are being made in respect of the agri Indian agriculture so that we can improve the Indian agriculture. So there are uh, three types of reforms that are being made in order to improve and solve the problems which are faced by the Indian agriculture. These reforms are technical reform, institutional reform, and your general reform. These are the three types of reforms that are being uh, made in India in order to improve the agriculture. And we also call these reforms as agrarian reforms. Now let's understand the technical reform in this video. The technical reforms. Number one is use of HYV seeds. See what are your HYV seeds is high yielding variety seeds. So in uh, the agriculture Apart from using the normal seeds in order to grow wheat, rice, bajra, maize, johar, cotton, etc. High yielding variety seeds, you also call them as HYV seeds have been introduced, right? The National Seed Corporation has set up, uh, has been set up to promote the use of HYV seeds. So it has actually grown up, uh, it has actually, you know, made the farmers aware about the HYV seeds and how the HYV seeds can improve the productivity in the farms. So almost in 2009 and 10, 257 lakh quintal of HYV seeds were distributed among the farmers in different part of the country. So a national seed corporation was set up in order to make the farmer aware about the HYV seeds. So this was the technical reform. The second reform which was, was use of chemical fertilizers. See, your, your cow dung is a natural source of manure, which is very slow. It makes the uh, soil fertile, but on a very slow pace. So what uh, happens, the use of chemical fertilizers are being increasingly used to enhance pro, uh, productivity. Use of compost manure is also encouraged. So. The use of chemical fertilizers are also being used to improve the productivity and the agriculture conditions. Third is your use of insecticides and pesticides for crop protection. In the earlier time, what was used to happen if there was some insect or some pesticide that went in, that uh, you know came into your field so what it used to do it used to spoil all the crop production all the cultivation that the farmers has done so the farmer turned up to be with the zero production in hand now what the government has done it has introduced the insecticides and pesticides that with the spray of this insecticides or pesticides in your farm they will help the uh, into they will help into the protection of your crops so a uh, step has been initiated to protect crops against diseases and insecticides by using insecticides and pesticides fourth is your scientific 
form management practices see if i talk about mushrooms we always say that mushrooms are now uh, artificially uh, prepared so what is that artificially they are prepared which means they have adopted the scientific farm management practices now what the farmers do do they adopt this technique scientific farm management technique and grow up the mushrooms they uh, take a particular area and make that area according and all the environment and the temperature everything is set up in such a way for that particular farm or area which helps in the production of mushrooms so what we have done we have uh, adopted the artificial methods of growing the crop so this is the scientific farm management practices which means that uh, we have selected the crop and their quality we prepare the soil accordingly we uh, make the temperature accordingly and the crop rotation to improve the fertility of soil all these are the scientific farm management practices fifth is your mechanized means of cultivation see in earlier stages what in order to till the soil what the farmers used to do farmer used to take the help of cow bullock cats or bulls but now it is done by the tractors the agriculture machines so this is the mechanized means of cultivation which means we are using the machineries the agriculture machineries in order to help the uh, help in the cultivation so what does uh, this do it actually reduces the time and the power that is required by the farmer to do the cultivation to grow the crop to enable the small farmers to buy agriculture machine cheap credit facilities is being ordered by the cooperative society a small and mar marginal farmer agencies regional rural banks and commercial banks so in almost all areas agro industries corporations have been set up for this purpose so what we are doing is what the reforms are that farmer each and every farmer should have this machineries in order to do the cultivation in order to do the agriculture so these are actually the technical reforms we have taken into consideration to solve the problem of the indian agriculture i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us